we took a cruise on Celebrity Edge. Here we're going to talk about three things we liked and three things we didn't like quite as much. So we're going to start with our first like, which is the ship itself. The decor of the ship is absolutely beautiful, like no other ship we've seen before. There's so many lovely venues on here, like Eden with the massive glass windows, letting so much light in. We also absolutely loved how much light there was on the ship, and there was so much outdoor space, which we absolutely love, especially versus some ships that are very inwards facing, so that they don't actually get as much light. The rooftop garden was one of our all-time mm -hmm. favourite venues. We, we spent a lot of time there, didn't we? We just wandered up there at night sometimes. And they've got the beautiful sunset bar at the back of the ship, which is just past the rooftop garden, and the views from the after there were just... Overall, the decor is just absolutely stunning. With Celebrity Edge, it's not just the ship itself and its decor that we loved, it's all the little touches as well. Like in the gym, they had disposable earphones, and they also had in the gym wet face cloths that were in the fridge, and you could take them out after your workout and just rub your face with them, and it just immediately cooled you down. I'm flat old man. In the toilets, they actually had hand towels to dry your hands with, which is a lovely touch. And they have even had projections in the wash basins. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us grow and to bring you more cruise content that we really enjoy producing for you. It's free, don't you know? So the second thing that we absolutely loved about Celebrity Edge was the dining. The food quality is absolutely amazing. I mean, the buffet alone, really, you could eat there all week for breakfast, lunch and dinner, I think. I'd say that some of the buffet food was better than some dining room food on mm -hmm. other ships. They have the four main dining rooms and they all have the same menu, yeah. but each dining room has its own exclusive specials mm -hmm. based on what the theme is there. So there's like an American one, a Mediterranean one, an Italian one, and a French one. So you've got quite a lot of choice there and scope if you want to try something a little bit different. And our third like is the entertainment. There's so much going on around yeah. the ship. We were a little worried, weren't we, when we booked this because we thought it might be a little bit old and fuddy-duddy. We were wrong. But we were so wrong. The so wrong. nightlife is excellent. There's so much entertainment on board. There's so different bars and lounges with live music. They're all so talented. The singers are absolutely amazing. There's a different theatre show every night. A comedian. They had some singers, a divas group from Las Vegas, and we had the cast theatre shows as well. They also had like this speakeasy performance in the clubhouse as well. That was oh, so yeah. good. Also, you just have like little pop-ups of acrobats around the ship. The cruise director, Giuseppe, is a legend. He is a character. He's so funny and he's very present. He's very chatty to everybody. We love him. He's really made it a better experience, I think, entertainment-wise on the cruise. That's just the evening entertainment, but even in the day they had quizzes, volleyball, which was like officers versus guests, they had pool side games, which Nathan won one of them, and one at Ale Celebrity Cruises baseball cap. Mm -hmm. I didn't win anything, so I was quite proud. I'm just obviously good at handling balls. But the game shows, I've had like nightly game shows. Yeah, we haven't been able to see them though. And nightly trivia as well, they've had nightly quizzes. Again, we just haven't had a chance to make any of it. Because too much, and that's a sign of a good cruise, is the fact there's too much to do. We have now achieved 4,000 watch hours. That's crazy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our little channel. Their next goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers, so please consider subscribing. Cheers, nice one. So let's move on to our first dislike. The shore excursion price is just so high. Prices of the shore excursions on Celebrity were absolutely scandalous. And we didn't book any for this cruise because they were just too expensive. Yeah. So we decided to leave it and we've just wandered off of the ports and we've had a fantastic time doing that. Yeah, we have. On our last day, they offered visiting Rome for the day and then they take you to the airport after, ready for your flight. But again, it was so overpriced that we decided not to bother with it. So we ended up having a long wait at the airport, nine hours. Especially considering that the Celebrity Cruise is quite an expensive cruise line in itself. Spending loads more out, a load, a load more money a lot out more on the money. excursions was just something that we just weren't willing to do. It was worth saving the money for. Our second dislike though, the drink package limitations. 
we've barely drunk cocktail. There's only like one or two or three cocktails on the list. One's got tequila in it. Like, go away, tequila. No yeah. one likes tequila. Well, apart from you crazy people out there, like, I don't know why you're drinking <laughs> tequila. An annoying feature on Celebrity was that the bar menus didn't state what price drinks you're allowed to order on your package. So it turns out we had to go into the Celebrity app to find out that we were allowed to spend up to $10 on the classic package and on the premium package, customers are allowed to spend up to $17. It's kind of like they're trying to catch you out a little. Where we had the classic package included in the all-included fare that I booked, which included your gratuities, some Wi-Fi that we didn't even use because we don't use our phones on holiday really, and the drinks package, obviously they only include the classic drinks package and offer you an upgrade to their premium package, which is quite a fair bit more money. We were quite frustrated because we couldn't drink a lot of our cocktails that we quite fancied, because a lot of the cocktails were priced at 11 or $12. The first night in the main dining room, we were offered wine, so we chose one, and the sommelier sort of offered us, oh, if you want to upgrade to premium, you can get better quality wines, and you know, try to kind of nickel and dime us and upsell us, and we don't want that. If we wanted the premium package, we'd go for the premium package. Yeah. And with Celebrity, fair enough, you can pay the difference so if it's one or two dollars you just pay the difference plus the 20% tax but because we're a little bit stingy 173. we didn't want to do that did we please be aware that celebrity have now changed their all included package to not include tips is that really all included Something else that we didn't like was the tender boat in Portofino experience. Because of restrictions, they could only use one boat. Fair enough. Then they had a ticket service where you were given a ticket and they would call you down. We were really happy with how organised this yeah, very was. very organised. I mean, it did take a long time for us to wait to get called. We went down to the queue. Whilst we were in the queue, they then basically said, right, anyone who hasn't got a ticket can now proceed down to the gangway, which everyone obviously that didn't have a ticket did. We were waiting in that queue for well, about 48 minutes, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, almost an hour. Almost an hour. It's a bit like, why call us down? Yeah. Yeah, for us to wait almost an hour. Overall, it took us about two and a half hours to get off the ship. On the way back, there was two tender boats. The main tender boat line was absolutely humongous. At the end of the queue was where the other tender boat started. Both queues just kind of combined it into one and there was a lot of confusion. This meant that people at the end of the queue jumped onto the second tender boat, which wasn't really fair on the people who were waiting longer. It was really organised, but really disorganised at the same time. As much as these negatives were frustrating, it didn't take any enjoyment away from our cruise try and come up with a balanced review of our experience so we don't want it to be all positive or all negative. However, we both agree that this is one of our all-time favourite cruises. Sadly, this concludes our Celebrity Edge experience. But our next cruise adventure begins on Piano Azura soon visiting the Canary Islands. If you haven't yet, go out and check out our vlogs on board and you can actually see what we got up to and why we thought it was so great. Go here and you can watch our very first one. Thank you so much for watching, liking and subscribing. We really appreciate it.